Hello everybody, welcome to another test here. Now today we've got the Norton Internet Security 2013 beta product which is still an early beta so we won't be expecting a really good performance here but this is what the application looks like so Norton have changed their interface. So first of all the looks, I think it's pretty nice. Uh, Norton always make their application look nice. And let's see what features they've got. They've got inside protection. And it checks the reputation of applications and runs uh, them before running them. And they've got their antivirus, anti-spyware, sonar, which is... Uh, you can click on them to get the info. System online network for advanced research response okay so this is kind of like their cloud uh, behavior based cloud so that's something now it does have a smart firewall and intrusion prevention so it does have a lot of features Norton their interface is pretty nice so let's just see how much RAM they use at system idle here now this is a place where I think Symantec have made a huge improvement as you can see, right now it's using only about 15 or 16 megabytes of RAM, which is really light. So it doesn't take off a lot of system resources. It's pretty light on the system. So let's just, let me just grab some malware links so that we can check out how their web blocking works. Okay, so all of these are malicious URLs, they're all pieces of malware, trojans, viruses, all kinds of stuff and they're all less than 24 hours old so they're pretty new files. So let's check them out and see if Norton protects us against these. This is an application, we'll run it just as if we don't know anything about this. Okay, so this one was detected by Norton, as you can see. And if you hit view details. Okay, so it says that this file is not recognized by them. So it's not exactly telling me very clearly what it wants me to do. But I get this red alert, so probably I'm going to stop this from running okay so basically it's not telling me that it's there in their signatures or if it's malicious it's just telling me that uh, they don't know about this so this is not a pretty clear alert now let me just show you that it's up to date before we carry on because I want to make sure that we do have the latest signatures there we go, it's completed successfully. So basically I guess I'll just, uh, this is the recommended action, but this is not a clear alert. I'd like them to improve on this. You can confuse some users with alerts like these, basically, because they don't know what to do. Okay, now this one's being analyzed, so Norton analyzes all of your downloads straight away. So that's good, and this one was detected as malicious and removed. Okay, so let's try out the next one here. Okay, now this one's also being analyzed by Norton, and okay, it's been detected by the antivirus, and it's been removed because it's malicious. Now this is a piece of adware, which means that this is an application that downloads a lot of unnecessary stuff just to annoy you and for advertising purposes. So let's try to open this. Okay, this one was also removed by Norton because it was 
a malicious application. So, so far, Norton hasn't missed anything, which is good to see. So, it looks like they've brought in some improvements in their beta. Now, this one's going to run, and it's still being verified. Norton isn't, hasn't analyzed it yet, so while that's running, let's try out the next one. Okay, this one's being analyzed. Let's wait for Norn to give its final ratings before running this. Or let's just run it and see what Norn does to it. If it's allowed to infect the system or if it's blocked. Okay, so it looks like Norn found that one to be safe. So that appears to be a miss. Okay, Dorn blocked an attack by malicious DNS domain. So certainly that file that Norton has let through is trying to do something here, but it's not being... Okay, now this one was blocked by Norton, by their web blocking. So this is the best way to block files, I guess. You don't even have to download them before. Okay, now this one was also detected. So it looks like this one was detected by some form of zero day protection, not by their signatures because it was detected long after it was actually run. So it's good to see that Norton are working on their zero day protection. So let's try out the next one here. Okay, now this one requires attention. So Norton doesn't know what to do with this. Again, the recommended action is remove the file from my system. And I always perform the recommended action. So that one's removed. Okay, I just had a phone call. Now let's get back to the testing here. Okay, so this is probably some bug in their beta. It's found some error in it. I'm not sure what to do now. The application seems to be fine. Doesn't look like anything's turned off or anything. So let's just continue here. Let's try out the last couple of links. Okay, so this one was also blocked by Norton Web Blocker, so that's good. So this is the final malicious URL that we're going to test, and this one was also blocked by Norton. So, looks like Norton has done pretty well here. So, that were, those were the malicious links. Now, let me grab some infected files, some malware files, so that we can scan them and see what kind of detection ratio Norton gets against them. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just grabbed a few files here. We've got 402 malicious infected files in this folder. And we'll just do a right-click scan over this folder and we'll see what Norton finds here. So I'll be right back when scan's complete because it's going to take some time.
Norn do not have a really fast scanner, so I guess I'll be back when the scan's done. Okay, so Norn detected a lot of threats and removed them automatically. As you can see, it's still removing them, but it's found some threats that can't be removed by itself. So what I'll have to have to select manually what to do to them. So let's wait for this to process totally and then we'll just uh, hit the fix button I guess. Okay so as you can see all the threats detected by Norton have been successfully removed but this folder of malware still contains 82 items. So these are basically the things that were missed by Norton or not detected by their signatures. So let's just calculate what kind of detection rate Norton has here. We had a total of I think 402 items. So we're getting a detection rate of just about 80% at 79 point something. Now I'm sure we have 82 misses here. Yeah, 82 misses. So this is the detection rate that we're getting here. Now this is not a very bad detection rate. In fact, it's pretty decent when it comes to files like these. They're just uh, pretty new. So you can... Uh, Call it decent if you want, Norn did have a decent detection rate. So now, as we know, all the files that Norn has in its database have been taken care of. So these files are not there in their signature. So let's see what kind of defense Norn has against files that it doesn't know. They do have something. They do have intrusion prevention and cloud. So let's see how those features work out now. So let's just try to run some of these files. This is Pros Explorer that I just opened up so that we can see the files running in memory. Now this is a fake AV. Let's see if Norn blocks it. It's not blocked by Norn so far. This looks like another fake AV here and doesn't appear to be blocked by Norn either. Okay, there we go. This fake AV, this fake antivirus has installed itself and now it's probably going to try to lock me down and try remove access from my computer. But Norton can protect me against that, so that's not good. We'll just run a couple of more files and then we'll just uh, do a scan with my scanners and we'll see it, what Norton misses from here. So I guess that's about it. Now as we can see with uh, Pros Explorer we do have two fake AVs that did get through. So let me just uh, go to my tools and let's just run Malwarebytes and see what are the number of uh, misses that Norn has just let through now. So I guess I'll be back when the scan is done. Okay, so that's just running Malwarebytes and while this is updating, Norton Sonar or their cloud did find a security risk here. So let's see what it's found. So probably it's detected that fake AV which was not found out by their scanners earlier. So that's good. Okay, so this file has been removed automatically, but it wants me to restart because it was present in memory. So I guess I'll just restart my computer, then launch Malwarebytes again and do a scan. I'll first run CCleaner to remove temp files, then run Malwarebytes. 
and give Norn every chance of finding whatever it wants to find. So I guess I'll just restart. And looks like it's found something else here. Okay, so the second opinion scanner Malwarebytes has finished scanning and look at this. Uh, this is a fake AV that was not detected by Norn and it's detected by Malwarebytes. So this is a miss that Norn had. It can detect this piece of fake AV. So now I'll just run a scan with Hitman Pro which is of course another second opinion scanner. So I'll be back with the results. Welcome back everybody. As you can see Hitman Pro just finished scanning and it didn't find anything. So the new Norn 2013 beta does look very promising indeed. It did succeed to, in protecting this computer against all sorts of threats. Now only in one case uh, it missed uh, one piece of fake AV that was also partially blocked. It wasn't a full miss because it failed to launch itself at startup or do any kind of system damage. So the new Norn Internet Security 2013 beta has done a pretty good job. I think we should all be looking forward to the final release of this great application. So I guess that's it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, rate, and subscribe as usual. And just have a good day.